prosperity success and happiness is directly connected with the state of your awareness if there is awareness within you then whatever you do you will find success and if there is no awareness within you then no matter what you do you will face failures after failures it all depends on what you are from within when a businessman starts falling to temptations and those temptations can be of several types other women sex pleasures too much of selfishness arrogance ignorance towards one's wife since wife is the real lakshmi she is alive and if she is a pious woman a spiritual being then definitely she is the real lakshmi of your house and all the stone idols of all goddesses come after her because god or goddess is within human beings and not in idols god is not in the worshiped object it is in the worshiper it is not in the object to which you pray it is in the innermost source from where the prayers come up it is always within whether it was jesus or prophet muhammad or buddha the divine master have always preached that god cannot be contained in an idol god cannot be objectified and that is exactly what the upanishads mention the idol is simply to help the sadhak the seeker to turn inwards and attain self realization the idol is just a medium a bridge it is interesting to remember that muhammad preached that he cannot be objectified you cannot make any idol of him he was saying what the upanishad is saying but what have the muslims done they thought it was their duty to destroy idols to destroy temples to set them on fire because nothing can be objectified and so they went on destroying the object this is how the mad world is muhammad wanted his followers to move beyond the object that is the idol but instead of moving beyond the object his fellow followers became obsessed with the object so much that they went on destroying the idols the real message the beautiful divine message of prophet muhammad reached only a few those who were turning inwards god is inwards within you and so when you hurt a pious woman you are directly hurting goddess lakshmi and that is how you suffer losses because you forget the fact that god or goddess is within humans and not in the idols and so a businessman who is utterly ignorant towards the pious woman in his life wife or his mother such a businessman is bound to face daridrata that is poverty in his life his business will suffer and he will face many losses the moment he starts disrespecting the woman in his life it is a strange world men run around hundreds of temples of goddess lakshmi and goddess durga and goddess santoshima however they miss to realize the fact that hurting any good pious woman is hurting the goddesses because in every pious woman the tattva the essence of goddess is present a businessman who respects the woman in his life as well as respects and takes care of woman 
outside his family always is blessed by goddess lakshmi such a businessman always lives in prosperity to such a businessman the scriptures address as lakshmi kant lakshmi kant means one who is married to a pious woman who herself is a goddess wheresoever she puts her feet the place transforms into an oasis deserts become gardens arid lands start producing fruits such a woman is indeed a great blessing she indeed is the anch of goddess lakshmi in this human world there are many such pious women they are living goddesses pious and so full of heart full of compassion full of love the whole point is about respecting women because saturn bless only those who are caring towards women now every woman is not a goddess but still even if a woman turns out as a witch still instead of hurting her you can always ignore her always remember goddess lakshmi has a sister and her name is a lakshmi a lakshmi means poverty fights noise cheating basically all negative attributes of a woman so in this human world you have got two types of women lakshmi which means prosperity and a lakshmi which means poverty lakshmi brings or represents prosperity because she is filled with many gunas which means good qualities a lakshmi takes away all your peace and your prosperity because she is filled with many avagunas meaning bad qualities you see the whole story of prosperity and poverty is based on the woman that you associate with to find a pious woman who can become your wife first you have to become pious there is a old saying which says get rich if you are looking for a woman and get pious if you are looking for a wife many men complain that my wife is not good she is not honest she is not sincere and so on and on and on but the most important aspect that you all should understand is that you will attract exactly that woman who has a similar level of past karma and qualities as you have so if you want to attract a pious woman a real good woman then you have to first become good you have to first work on purifying yourself a man will find his wife based on the level of his purity his consciousness his awareness a woman will find her husband based on the level of her purity her consciousness her awareness there is a beautiful verse in the holy quran which says and women of purity are for men of purity and men of purity are for women of purity many businessmen after spending a couple of years in marriage get bored with their wives they want some excitement and then they are drawn towards the other woman this other woman is a perfect representation of a lakshmi the moment the man gets entangled with the other woman his downfall begins 
he starts failing in his business everything starts turning against him he has lost the whole momentum that he had built with so much dedication and hard work by falling for the other woman failures come only when we forget our ideals and objectives and principles the wife is therefore the most significant factor in a man's life she is the direct representation of goddess lakshmi the whole success factor and prosperity is therefore based on how pious and god loving and understanding your wife is and in turn how much pious and devoted you are towards your wife now many times it happens that the husband or wife is sleeping with other person in such a scenario tell me how can lakshmi stay in your house money is not lakshmi lakshmi is the sum total of all the happiness peace joy and good qualities that comes along with money only then the money is worth it lakshmi therefore is the goddess of wealth because wealth consists of your happiness your good health your willingness to live more and contribute more to this beautiful planet our mother earth there are many couples who have millions in their bank accounts but have you seen how terrible their marriage life is they are living under the same roof but not seeing each other's face now tell me is this a sign of lakshmi or a lakshmi it is a sign of a lakshmi the whole essence of my sharing is to help my listeners and my readers realize the fact that lakshmi or prosperity comes only when you live your life with awareness and by being righteous and following the dharma following the voice of your heart a good businessman is one who feeds the poor donates money to ngos basically one who balances the act if he is earning 1000 then he will donate minimum 10 percentage of his profit earning for a good cause balancing the act is all what life is all about balance is the key to life horoscope always should be balanced and it will appear as balanced only when you start balancing your act because horoscope is just a blueprint of your act that is your karma that is why i always say that horoscope is dead but you are alive and so it is up to you to change yourself to allow change happen within you and that is possible only when you start walking on the path of buddha the path of krishna the path of love and devotion bhakti mark always remember for success in life you need yukti that is a skill and a shakti that is a strength bhakti that is devotion and mukti that is freedom so for success in life you need skill strength devotion and freedom people ask for remedies but beyond remedies there is something that can actually bring a great positive change within you and that is your heart only a man of heart a woman of heart only those who are following their heart can someday 
attain krishna attain govind god consciousness srila prabhu pada of iskon says the individual soul is a forever a servant of the super soul and therefore his relationship with the super soul is to offer service that is called bhakti yoga or bhakti bhav if i tell you to do a certain remedy then you will do it but it will be exactly the way a robot executes a certain action i don't want my readers and my followers and listeners to become robots i would love to see you all become human more and more human and then the miracle starts happening then the desert starts transforming into a beautiful oasis then the dance the song the music the answer to all those who have lost their way and going through losses and miseries in life is in one line fall in love god love bhakti yoga isn't something you join it's love it means falling in love krishna das a disciple of neem karoli baba was transformed inside out when he met the divine master neem karoli baba krishna das was not his real name his real name was jeffrey kagel he is an american vocalist known for his performances of hindu devotional music known as kirtan chanting the names of god he has released 17 albums since 1996 he performed at the 2013 grammy awards where his album live ananda was nominated for the 2013 grammy award for best new age album he has been described by the new york times as the chant master of american yoga this is how real transformation happens and there are many such real life examples the whole power of possibility is in the bhakti yoga bhakti yoga or bhakti yoga is a way of transforming your emotion from negativity to utmost pleasantness many great bhakts or devotees have been around this world one of them was a meera bai it is said that during those days a woman was not allowed in the temple of krishna they could worship only from the outside the priest had not seen a woman for 30 years he never used to go outside and inside the temple no woman was allowed when he heard about meera bai he was worried because she would certainly come to the greatest temple of krishna he had put two guards at the gate and instructed them prevent that woman if she comes dancing here but when meera bai came dancing those guards completely forgot their purpose why they were standing there because the dance was so beautiful and meera was so beautiful so radiant that without anybody noticing she entered the door dancing the priest was in the middle of his worship the plate that he was holding in his hand a golden plate full of rose flowers seeing meera dancing and entering into the temple the plate fell from his hands he was very angry and he said to meera it is against the rules of this temple no woman can enter here and you will be surprised to know the answer that meera bai which stands out in the whole history of the mystics with an aliveness she said my god i used to think that only krishna was the man and everybody else is a woman a lover of krishna 
टूडे आई हैव फाउंड टू मैन यू आर ऑल्सो अ मैन एंड द वे शी स्पोक टू द प्रिस्ट द प्रिस्ट ट्रेम्बल्ड मीरा सेड द थिंग हैज टू बी डिसाइडेड हियर एंड नाउ इधर यू हैव टू डिक्लेयर योर सेल्फ अ मैन और यू हैव टू डिक्लेयर योर सेल्फ ऑल्सो अ वुमन अंडर द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ मीरा दैट पुअर प्रिस्ट हैड टू एक्सेप्ट ही सेड आई एम ऑल्सो अ वुमन मीरा सेड दैन नाउ ऑनवर्ड द रूल इज चेंज्ड ओनली वुमन कैन एंटर दिस टेम्पल दोज वु थिंक दे आर अ मेल कैनॉट एंटर भक्ति devotion has the power to change your life to change the rules to change yourself inside out but who wants to listen the majority have become robots if a priest tells them to feed a bird only then they will feed because it is a remedy you see that is how this shallow human world is but among this shallow population there are few men and women of heart they are a dance they are a song they are a music a beautiful painting they will feed many birds and dogs and cats and humans but out of love out of compassion and not because it is a remedy i am in search of such men and women the master is always in search of such beautiful hearts and they are always in a minority my answer is very simple don't seek remedies seek your heart listen to the voice of your heart don't do anything because it is a remedy do it because your heart feels the pain the suffering the starvation that your fellow human beings are going through do out of love and not as a compulsion be more human and less robotic the only remedy to all your miseries and difficulties is embarking on the path of devotion the path of love the more you are devoted to god the more you can be patient Sai Baba therefore emphasizes on two words shraddha or saburi shraddha means faith and saburi means patience faith and patience when you have both faith and patience and purity of thoughts ideas start coming towards you and that is how great businessmen are born you can receive good business ideas from the universe when your antenna is positioned well when your antenna is clean and pure meditation chanting the holy mantra or reading the holy scriptures is an effective tool that help you get the necessary bath every day so that your antenna remains clean and can receive the signals from the beyond nikola tesla one of the greatest scientists says my brain is only a receiver in the universe there is a core from which we obtain knowledge strength and inspiration i have not penetrated into the secrets of this core but i know that it exists nikola tesla is one of the greatest scientists that the world had ever known and probably the only one after einstein who believed in god in the supreme non physical world further nikola tesla says the day science begins to study non physical phenomena it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence everything is possible business can get back to normal unmarried woman can find a suitable groom jobless man can find a job 
but only when they start turning inwards when they start focusing within when they switch to meditation to chanting the holy mantra the holy name of god and that indeed is the greatest remedy but only if you have a certain depth of understanding understanding cannot be studied nobody can teach it to you you will have to learn how to dive within yourself not in the scriptures but within your own existence always remember you have to walk yourself the master may show you the way but ultimately as the buddha says you have to work out your own salvation all by being yourself all by being alone remove the idea that anybody else is responsible for your misery and suffering remove the idea that somebody can give meaning to your life except that you are alone born alone and you will die alone the master is not the giver of truth the master is the pointer towards the truth ultimately it is you who have to take efforts turn inwards and realize the fact that it is only through your heart that you can touch the sky you can make the impossible possible love to all my listeners readers and followers meditate every day